Next thing we want to do is set this up so that it turns this flame on as it is kind of barrel is lit and it's going down. So when the barrel is lit, let's go ahead and make the flame a child of the game object and we're just going to set the game object to true. We also want to put some audio in here. So I found like a crackling audio soundtrack of fire and I attached an audio source to my flame. So whenever it's true, then the flame turns on and I can hear it crackling as it's going on. Next thing is, is that when I do destroy or explode it, I want to make sure I set the set active for the flame is off. And now I want to create an IE numerator, a, basically a countdown. So I'm going to get the hit point system. And as it's, in, it's been lit, it's going to take damage to the hit points, four damage for every second. So we need to create an IE numerator called decrease health and every second it's gonna decrease four seconds and we just need to do a bull check on it to make sure that if the timer is set to true, then we, we run the timer, else we don't run the timer. We run the timer when it is set to uh, being lit and we turn it off when the explosion happens. So now when I shoot it, I start to build a timer and at the end of the timer, it runs the explosion function. Now, all I need to do is create a cube and make sure I add on a rigid body to it. And anything that has a rigid body component will now get blasted away. So we created an explosion force object in the past. We're just gonna drop that explosion force object in here and turn it to true when it, there is an explosion. So when I shoot and it explodes, it's actually gonna knock that cube away. And you could probably check out the explosion force in the RPG tutorial. There you go, you see the cube flying. Now, if you actually wanna send damage to any of these other objects, you just gotta make sure that it has a hit point uh, component attached to it, as well as a rigid body, and now we can create these incredible chain length events. And a rigid Perfect. 